Well, let's move away from Oshun State to the wider national ballot. How do you think this contest is evolving at the national level? Is it all black and white and clear cut, or are there lots of murky gray areas? There? Well, for us, it's clear. And I will tell you this, uh, the APC is panicking. They're in a panic mode. That is why they are screaming, oh, we will take okay, this, the PDP candidate to court if you wanted to do that. Don't talk. And then recently, their candidate is coming out to say, oh, this fuels scarcity and the narrow redesign is aimed at sabotaging mm. my chances at the polls. So who is he talking to? Who are those trying to sabotage him? And he's saying, let's change them. Change who? They are so confused. I feel really sorry for them. This is the time they can be dangerous and impulsive. All we are telling our people is your PVC. Get your PVCs, line up, and vote for a candidate of your choice. And we're guiding them and telling them why Atiku Abubakar is the right candidate to choose. Why it will be suicidal for them to re-elect APC again. Right. But, but the campaigns, as you said, we're seeing a lot of personal attacks. I mean, because it's also coming from the PDP. Whether it's in reaction, they're both sort of throwing mud at each other. Is it your sense that it's becoming increasingly bitter and unpleasant right and this is the nature of the beast especially here and that's why karma heads like us uh, jump into the, the trenches to tell our people let the screamy ones go and scream at the hostings we are the ones telling the people educating the people as to why our candidate is better than any other candidate these are the things he will do and we're not in any way you will never hear from my mouth saying bad things about the others. I've said on this program that they are honorable men. Our candidate is better. Our candidate is a candidate that will see us through this ditch. So you don't think it's a produce. plus for your candidate that there's all this focus on uh, the APC presidential candidate's mental capacity and, and whether or not it's deteriorating? Right. No, I, I'm a doctor, physician, 41 years and counting. And I have been saying this before anybody else says that, that Bola Ahmed Tinibu, in my opinion, as a physician, 41 years and counting, so practice in Nigeria, the United Kingdom, and the United States, that Bola Ahmed Tinibu is not in the best he of health to contest for the presidency of this country. We have seen that physically. You do not need to be a physician to see that. Yeah, but the key thing is his mental health. Absolutely. I mean, Charles, most of the things he says, you don't even understand what he says. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Nigerians, we are playing with the future of this country. Bola Ahmed Tinubu has been spoiled by Lagos over the last 23 years, and he's still holding the power in Lagos. Nobody can, nobody can test whatever he does. Now he is in the big arena. He's running away from scrutiny. And he is surprised people are challenging him. People are asking him to do that. 